Greetings and salutations. Thank you for lending an ear to The Voice of the Times, the Sunday, June 6, 2021. For today's editorial, House Bill on E-Cigarettes and Vaping Relaxes Safeguards. Lawmakers are working on a bill to regulate electronic cigarettes or e-cigarettes and similar products, but anti-smoking advocates argue that it will actually relax some of the existing restrictions meant to protect minors and curb nicotine addiction. Recently, the lower chamber passed House Bill 9007, also known as the Non-Combustible Nicotine Delivery Systems Regulation Act. The Senate will now study and deliberate it. Ambis Owa Party List Representative Sharon Garin, principal sponsor of the measure, said in a statement that the bill addresses the unintended or potential adverse consequences of using heated tobacco products or HTPs and vaping alternatives. Her co-author, Akobiko Party List Representative Alfredo Pidog Garbin Jr., told the Manila Times that their proposed legislation provides the regulatory framework that would allow adult smokers access to legitimate alternatives to conventional cigarettes and other tobacco products. We support regulation of all sin products, but the House bill in question seems to dilute parts of Executive Order or EO 106 series of 2020. That EO regulates the manufacture, distribution, marketing, and sale of unregistered and or adulterated electronic nicotine, non-nicotine delivery systems, HTPs, and other novel tobacco products. If passed as is, the House bill lowers the minimum age required to purchase e-cigarettes and other vaping products to 18 years old. The existing minimum age under EO 106 is 21 years old. While the legal age in the Philippines is 18 years old, we support the health reason for prohibiting the sale of those products to people people younger than 21. In the United States, where the legal age is also 18, a federal law passed in 2019 raised the tobacco age to 21. Before that, some 19 U.S. states and at least 530 localities across America had raised the tobacco age to 21. The U.S.-based Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids and the Tobacco Free Kids Action Fund reported that National data show that about 95% of adult smokers begin smoking before they turn 21. The ages of 18 to 21 are also a critical period where many smokers move from experimental smoking to regular daily use, while less than half of adult smokers or 46% become daily smokers before age 18, 4 out of 5 do so before they turn 21. About unsupported claims, some groups argue that e-cigarettes and similar products offer a safer alternative to tobacco that is also more addictive, but scientific studies dispute that claim. The American Heart Association, for one, has found that people were likely to continue smoking conventional tobacco products along with vaping. Worse, another study we found reported that e-cigarettes and similar products used flavors, several of which included aldehydes. These are a compound class recognized toxicologically to be primary irritants of the respiratory tract. Dr. Ulysses Dorotheo, executive director of the Southeast Asia Tobacco Alliance, pointed out a similar threat. In a story we published, he said e-cigarettes, or electronic nicotine delivery systems, or electronic non-nicotine delivery systems, or ENDS or ENNDS, as well as HTPs, emit toxic chemicals derived from ingredients such as propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, and nicotine, which is the addictive agent in cigarettes. While the House bill prohibits certain harmful compounds, it does not rule out using additives that may make those products more appealing to people, especially minors, unlike EO-106. Many flavors used in vaping are confectionery in nature, such as chocolate raspberry, cherry cheesecake, cotton candy, vanilla, grape, apple, coffee, and bubblegum, among others, according to a study. On another point, the House bill will allow e-cigarettes and vaping products to be sold online. While the bill does penalize selling them to minors, their availability online facilitates access to everyone. In defense of the House bill, Mr. Garbin said the anti-vaping fear should not prevent Congress from establishing a regulatory framework. We agree, but a framework already exists in EO 106. Now that the House bill is in the upper chamber, we urge senators to retain the minimum age at 21 amend the provision on harmful compounds to include flavorings and additives, and prohibit online sale. If the proposed legislation cannot be as tough or tougher than EO 106, senators should vote against it. And that's the editorial for Sunday, June 6, 2021. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to our digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and listen to The Voice of the Times.